Hey, welcome. There's been a lot of demand for me to do a follow up review of my uh, uh, Craft and Lore port wallet. And before I do that, what I'd like to do is I got a special package in the mail, so I'll take a moment to do a little unboxing of, I believe this should be my Apple card. I pulled the trigger and I ordered one. So let's see what it looks like. You got this uh, cardboard case it comes in this nice um, apple like piece of plastic and the card comes up like that let's pop open the card oh my gosh okay first of all this thing is metal you hear that it is solid I'm afraid to you can pretty much bend it it's got no numbers in it so I have no problem sharing with you that's my name and the back of the card. So the only thing you can lift is the information that's on this chip. Otherwise, this card is just a piece of metal. So if you guys got one of these, let me know what you think. Let's get back to the review on this port wallet here. And let me go back to one of my videos. Okay, so this is my very old review of the Craft Horror. And one of my original OG YouTube videos. Let's see how far back this is. Can I see the date? Uh, I published this on September 10th, 2016, so I must have had the wallet for, I don't know, let's say a couple months. We are at the three year anniversary of the wallet, and it still is part of my everyday carry. I use it as my primary wallet. And so a lot of you had questions, uh, what about cards? So let's start off with taking the Apple card. I typically will carry my primary credit card on the outside wallet here. And so it goes in that spot. On the back side, I carry my uh, bus card in Seattle, we use Orca. Uh, so it fits just like that. And the um, magnet strip or whatever technology they use, I can tap that at the bus station, no problem. And so a lot of you guys have questions on this middle piece here. Um, how many cards can you stick in there? Right now I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Um, I stack them up like this and I just shove them right in the middle. So the question is, does it come off? You definitely, I know you have to really try to shake them out. It's not coming out. Um, I think now that I've stretched to about seven, if I were to attempt to do two, uh, so let's give it a try. So you gotta commit yourself. I committed to carrying around quite a bit of cards, but let's say I only took two cards and now if I put it in this centerpiece, it will definitely fall out. So that is something to consider as it stretches out, you're really committing yourself to however many cards you shove into your wallet. In my case, I have not changed the number of cards. I've always wanted to put more, um, but I've kind of landed with seven in the middle, credit card on the outside, bus pass here. And on occasion, I'll definitely use this outside um, pocket here to carry cash or uh, maybe a receipt or something small. What I like about it, it's been holding up really well Nothing is falling, nothing scratching. Um, so let's get a little bit closer so you can see. Uh, so in this case, people asked about the patina. So let me take out the outside cards so you can get a little bit more in depth. Um, here's the outside. And so I carry it uh, for a while, for the first year or so, I wore jeans almost every day. And so it's definitely got a little bit of a, a denim patina. This was originally a Horween. Um, some type of brown leather uh, with green stitching. And that green stitching uh, has pretty much stayed green, but it's kind of faded in quite a bit. It's very soft and supple on the back side here. Um, definitely you're getting quite a bit of patina here. Um, so let me show you just like if I scratch it a little bit, you can kind of see that scratch in there. But as you're wearing it, it definitely rubs. And so I think it stays in pretty good condition um, let me know what you think. So why don't we flash to a close-up zoom?
that's the in-depth detail. Again, let's get back to it. A couple recap. Uh, had it for three years. And I think online you actually see people carry this around for a lot longer than three years. But um, it's definitely holding up really well. Um, I think the stamping with that says craft and lower back here is slowly fading away just as it's building that it's rubbing off a little bit. Um, but overall, I, I think it's a fantastic wallet. It definitely ages really well, um, but it took me about three years to get to this point. So it's something to consider as you're buying. Um, it's not an overnight patina. It took, you know, probably a good solid two years before it started to look really, really good. And um, to be honest, it looks fantastic when it came in the mail to begin with, uh, but only definitely got better with age. And um, I've had a lot of different wallets I've tried over the past years. And I definitely say this is one that's been a keeper for me. It's part of my everyday carry. Uh, I've had other wallets, other things I've carried. And I tried switching it in and out here and there, but this has definitely been the longest standing at three years. Um, hey, if you like this, leave a like. Let me know what you like about these reviews. Leave a comment. Uh, please engage and share it with a friend and definitely subscribe. Thanks a lot.